Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five quick tips to enhance the use of your ownership of your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. These are just simple ways to make your Note 9 even more awesome. So let's dive in. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's dive in. So the very first thing I wanna talk is the task switcher. So when you tap on the recents button on your Note 9, this is what you see. Uh, this is known as the thumbnail view. So you get a bunch of cards, okay? What you can do is you can tap on the button on the top right, and then just tap on list view, and that's gonna allow you to utilize the real estate even better by uh, getting access to this list view. So again, from here, you can just dive into the apps that you want. You can also swipe them away or just tap on X to get rid of each of these apps. All right, so that's the list view. And the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, again, in the top right, if you tap on that button one more time, it's gonna take you into the settings. And from here, make sure that pop-up view action is in fact enabled. So what this is gonna allow you to do is let me just launch an application. Let's just grab the calculator application over here. And what you can do is you can swipe from the top corner downwards like this and turn that window, in, in, uh, window into a pop-up window, all right? And from here, you can do a couple things. Well, first and foremost, you can just use this window just like this, okay? And then when you're not using the window, you can minimize it. So you can tap this button. It sits on the side just like this, uh, anywhere you want on the screen. And then you could be doing something on the website. Uh, you could be right here. And all you do is you tap on the calculator, make some calculations, minimize it again. Maybe you're looking at some uh, numbers over here and you wanna do some math over here, okay? And of course, uh, when you're done, you can tap on X, that's gonna close the application, or tap on this icon to maximize it for maximum uh, immersion in that application. The other quick tip is if you swipe over to your edge panels, normally if you have your edge panel set up, you know that you have to swipe through each of the panels uh, to get to what you want uh, really quickly, okay? So you can uh, swipe through the edge panels. What I like to do is I like to tap on this button here, which gives me a thumbnail preview of all my edge panels. So I can actually uh, uh, quickly pick the panel that I wanna use from here. So I can tap on the calculator panel instead of swiping over to the panel, okay? So if I wanna uh, access the apps edge panel where my applications are, I just tap on apps edge, boom, I've got the shortcuts to my applications. All right, so make sure that is in fact enabled. Now let me go back in and show you the next quick tip. So if you go to the settings, and if you tap on advanced features, if you go all the way down, make sure that the video enhancer is enabled. Now if you tap on this button, it's gonna disable it or enable it. And if you tap over here, it's gonna go into the details. And over here, you have all these video enhancing apps. So basically, if you enable this, you are gonna see a difference right away. So it says, enhance the image quality of your videos to enjoy brighter and more vivid colors. And if you look over here, these are all the available apps that this setting applies to. So as you download apps, and if they're video viewing applications, they are gonna be listed right over here. Uh, if they're not listed here, you know that Video Enhancer is not being applied to those uh, video viewing applications, all right? So that's the Video Enhancer. And the final quick tip is, I want you guys to go to the settings, go all the way down, go to bot phone, and over here, you can give a custom name to your actual smartphone. So what I do is I tap on edit and change the name of my smartphone. Now this is gonna be very useful when you're using another device, such as a Bluetooth device, to try to connect to your phone because the name of your phone is gonna be broadcasted just like it, it is seen here. So you can put in anything, you can put a Saki 9 or whatever, and then you click done, and that's the name of your actual phone. So anytime you broadcast this phone to any other device for Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi connectivity, you are gonna see that name. It's simply more convenient and more clean. All right, so that was the last quick tip. If you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's dive in.